Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to share with you guys this entry into my October challenge. And this one comes all the way from Australia, guys. I was so excited and very surprised when I seen it in the mailbox. Um, and I just can't wait to open it up and share with you guys what she sent me. This comes from Joanne, who is Joanne Lee, is her YouTube channel. And of course, I will link her in the description bar below so you guys can check her out. And we're going to go ahead and get started and see what she sent. The first thing she sent was an IC card, and I'm so glad that she decided to send this. And these butterflies are very, very gorgeous. They have like an acetate over the top of them. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. Um, but they are super, super cute. I love these little uh, rhinestone uh, flatbacks that she has here. Very, very cute. Um, and they're so sparkly and shiny. I don't know if the camera picks that up. But very, very cute. And of course, I will not share with you her address and things. Um, but I'm so excited that she decided to join the challenge. And this is my very first package from Australia, so I'm even more excited about that. Um, I love getting to see other people's work from different places because we're all, we all have access to like different uh, crafting products. And so when somebody sends me um, products that are used more so in another country, then in ours, I just love to see everybody's different styles on things. Oop. So, this goes here, I believe. She, first of all, made these little uh, paper clip embellishments. If I can get it on there. Look how super cute these are with these ghosts. And she even um, included the extra little stickers as well. Very, very nice. Thank you. These are super, super cute, and she's got them double-sided. I love that, um, that they're double-sided, and I am for sure going to be saving these for my planner next year because I just think these little ghosts are so cute. I think that ghosts are probably my, as long as they are cutesy, not too, like, crazy scary, I think they're probably my favorite Halloween character as far as, like, you know, vampires and witches and things like that although I really do like things that have the witch's feet on them um, so there's her little paper clip embellishments and here is her gorgeous tag um, it looks like she's used the same kind of stickers here I love these little bats as well and I really like these little little tiny silver bats I don't know if you guys can see those I wonder where she got those because those are super cool. I like that. And then off to the side here, she's got stamped out Happy Halloween. I love how it has the borders there. Ooh, and I also enjoy that she put her name down here so I don't forget. Because a lot of these, um, you guys can imagine how much um, things that I get. And so next year when I start crafting, I always pull out the products that y'all send me and I craft around them. Um, so next year, somebody might be receiving this tag, and I'm glad that she put her name there so that whenever the person who receives it um, from me will um, know who it was. Okay, so this is her. I like her. I love this little um, presentation that she has here. So, of course, you guys know that the... Um, Challenge was one bow, one flower, one tag, and one embellishment. So this is her entry. I just think that she done a super, super fantastic job. Is this tissue paper? Oh my gosh, I think it is. These are super, super delicate, but I've never seen it done like this before. But I absolutely love it. I love this big old bow she has here. I like her presentation. I don't know where she gets these this little flat back here but I absolutely love that I'm wondering if that wasn't a button you'll have to let me know Joe um, if that was a button or not um, super super awesome presentation I absolutely adore it and then she also made an extra set of bows which I don't have this bow die did you cut these by hand you'll have to let me know I think she did fussy cut these bows oh good gravy 
I can't believe you fussy cut the bows. I think she did. You'll have to let me know down below. And she's got them on pop dots so I can use them. I can pull them off there and use them very easily. Um, I like the shape of the bow. Um, so please let me know if you fussy cut this or if you have like a die. Very curious to know that because that bow is stinking cute. I love the, the, what I'm going to call the feet. <laughs> um, the tail of those bows. So thank you so much. Oh, I forgot. We have this other little package. Let me move this out of the way. I'm going to put this up in my... And then she sent this little bag. I love... This is like a really sturdy, thick plastic. I love that. Move these out of the way. And I cannot... I don't know if you did a video response, but I will tally up your points and, of course, put it in the box below. Look at these cutie, macute, little purple sequin bats. I've never seen these before. Those are super, super cute. I've seen black ones, but not purple ones, and not like this either. Those are awesome. I don't have any of those, so that's exciting. And then she sent... Um, a whole bunch of foam sticker pieces. We got pumpkins and ghosts. I love these little ghosts. They're super cute. Pumpkins and ghosts um, and spiders. She also sent a mouse, which will be super cute adding to projects as well as these little spiders. Um, I use all of my spiders in my uh, 50 Shades of Crazy Crafters hop, so I'm excited that she sent me some. At least next year I won't be without spiders at the first part of the season of Halloween. Super cute. And then here is a skeleton. He's also really cute. Where'd you find him? Very cute. Very cute. I can see myself doing a mixed media project with that. Then we have a cat. And some spiders, another cat, and a pumpkin. Oh, and look at these sequins. These are skulls. Where did you find these sequins? Did you order these offline or is it something that's local? And then also these are cool little spiders down here as well. Very, very nice. I love, 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 love these. And then she sends me, oh, look at these buttons. <gasps> it's a candy corn, y'all. Oh, MG, look at, I can't even, look at that pumpkin, where did you find these, these are super, super cute, I'm asking, I'm asking like where did you find these, like she probably bought these somewhere local to Australia and I can't even begin to get them, very, very cute, I love them, thank you so much, I probably, more than likely will take these off and because I love them so much, I will put them in my planner box to use next year. So thank you so much for all of these wonderful goodies. I really love these sequins. I've never seen them before. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, and like I said, I will go back and look and see if you've done a video response. And I will tally your points up and put it in the description box below. Um, if you guys don't know who she is or haven't visited her channel, I'm going to also link her in the description bar below. So you can go over and check her channel out. Um, thank you so very much, Joe, for taking the time and taking uh, the cost of sending something all the way over here from Australia. I really do appreciate it, and I know that it's um, time-consuming and also costly uh, for you guys to send stuff over here. So I really, really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in um, another upcoming challenge or swap or something um, in the future. Um, so we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!